Hello and welcome. I am Super Dungeon Boy and this is a movie review. A horror movie review. On the list here, I actually wrote notes down for a change. <laughs> um, I'm learning as I'm going, folks. Bear with me. We have uh, Carrie. Now, this is a remake from the original. Now, this has been out since, what, uh, October some odd. So, somewhere in October, they they had it in the theaters. I didn't see it then. I kind of waited too long. And then later on, I seen it at like a really cheap matinee kind of one. So, I waited a little too long. But I wish I would have seen it earlier. This movie is actually better than I thought. And I'm one of those people that think that the originals are generally better than the remakes for the most part. Um, so yeah, there's where that's at. Um, let's see. It's definitely better than the first movie. I love the special effects. I'm sorry, epic special effects were very sweet. And as far as a horror movie goes, um, just give you the quick rundown here. Uh, all in all, pretty much a 9 out of 10. So, a 9 out of 10... And you're kind of thinking to yourself, you know, if you did see the movie, and you're like, well, why'd you score it so high? One of the things was uh, Julia, uh, Julianne Moore, and she played in uh, the first Psycho. She played in, what else did she play in? Uh, Hannibal. She played in tons of other kind of scary movies. And she played as this, let me put my notes down. She played as this um, crazy religious mother that wouldn't allow her daughter, Carrie, to ever mingle with any of the people or at children at school or whatever. By the way, the girls in high school, for those that don't know. Um, oh, God, what is the name of the girl that played Carrie? Damn it. At the beginning of the first half of the film, um, you kind of weren't sure if you were going to like it. And I was watching, I'm like... I'm actually watching the thing, I'm eating my popcorn, I'm like, this movie's gonna suck, <laughs> this movie's gonna suck, and then you start seeing some of the special effects as you're going on, and then you're like, eh, okay, it's enough to keep me interested, so let's keep watching, let's push forward, and see where this thing takes us. So you watch it, and you keep watching it, and you start seeing, like in the original, that the kids are messing with Carrie, and... You know, by the way, the jam-packed full of spoilers. I'm sorry, I should have probably said that from the beginning. Um, but then again, I'm assuming the people that seen this carry, the newer one, um, seen the older one. So, you know, just throwing that out there. Anywho, um, because let's face it, those that are into scary movies like me, um, not all scary movies, but most scary movies I like. I don't like any of that saw shit. Sorry. Just doesn't fill my fancy. Um, not because it's too scary, just because it's a little too gory and I. Yeah, I know about saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably going to hate me. Yeah. Give me a dirty comment below. I don't care. I don't care. My choice. My choice. I like to watch films that most people can enjoy and things that I can tell, you know, my friends and family, like, you know, this is a pretty good film, you know, I recommend you'd watch this, um, sorry, I just prefer better films, um, however, you do get one that kind of goes through the cracks, either you didn't, uh, know about it, or you thought it was gonna suck, like, Carrie here, I thought it was gonna suck, and I was wrong, I was wrong, the special effects kept you entertained, I know I keep talking about that, but it's, just true. It keeps you in your seat and you keep wanting to see more, more, and her powers grow and grow and grow. And at the whole time you think about the little girl, you know, Carrie, and you're like, damn, she, you know, she has it so hard. These kids are messing with her. They, you know, they, they practically torture her, um, you know, physically, psychologically. And, you know, at first, the first half of the film, it feels like a teen drama, I don't know, um, how to say, uh, I don't know, it feels a little B-graded, it feels like some, I don't know, 
God, I'm going out on a limb here. It's going to feel like something like an episode of Charm or something. I don't know. But with a little bit more uh, adult content. Um... It kind of starts feeling like a teen drama, witchcraft kind of movie or whatever. Now, the re the reason, other than the special effects, why I th why I rated this so high, um, again with you know Julia Moore, just God, she does so well in this movie. Like she plays that crazy person part flawlessly, and so. <laughs> Something about this scary ginger hair mother, you know, um, you know, being like all crazy. I mean, could you imagine if your mom was some crazy, psychotic, religious, whatever, and you can't go to high school and you can't do this and you can't do that? Jesus Christ. And what's even more so, and I'm not, I'm not making this up. It actually happens. They throw uh, the mother, the crazed mother. I don't know where the father is. Um, they mentioned it in the film, but I must have missed it. Um, but that's besides, you know, here or there. So Carrie gets thrown into the dungeon every night from her crazed mother. And in there, there's all this like religious stuff, you know, like Jesus on the cross and, you know, the Bible and some other kind of, I don't know what religious symbol stuff, you know, so and the mother's there, and she bolts her daughter in, and then she's like, pray for forgiveness, you are evil, you shouldn't use those powers, you are the devil, you are the devil, you're the devil, and then the girl is just devastated, she's like, mom, I just want to be normal, I want to be normal, that only goes on for so long, and then like every teenager, she's about to fight back, just watch. I won't spoil any more of that part, but Carrie tries her damnedest to be, uh, you know, a normal kid in society, and if you've seen the original film, then you kind of know what's entailed, and yes, more or less, it's about the same storyline, more or less. Um, it just, it, it's the modern version of Carrie today, That that's all, so, um, the little girl, God, I just... I didn't write her name down. Um, she plays a really great um, Carrie, I thought. Um, she's very timid and very, like, you know, like, don't hurt me kind of thing. But you see it because she's abused at home and she's abused at school. I think the only one that even talks to her is um, the uh, volleyball coach or whatever, this female. So her female coach is the only one that talks to her. Um, everyone else, no one talks to her. Um, but anyways, and of course, as you imagine, she goes to prom, like the original, and that other half of the movie, more so like the last quarter of the film, is like awesome special effects, and you, in a sense, you're watching the roller coaster of abuse for her, and you can't help, you know, sounds a little morbid and deranged but you can't help but side with Carrie and like get those fuckers Arr, get them get them you know like don't you abuse this girl and you're actually cheering for her <laughs> actually I found myself cheering for uh, Carrie even though she's murdering these people and I'm like I don't know why but I'm rooting for her you know even though that's not good but what the hell you know no bullying stop bullying people see what happens one of them will cast a spell on you I don't know. Anyways, uh, so all in all, definitely worth um, a rental. Definitely uh, worth you know going to the movies for. If you buy now, you probably can already buy it. I wouldn't be surprised. But um, it wouldn't hurt to buy it either if you're a diehard um, horror movie fan. But um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, definitely at least see it once. Just see what you think. Alright, again, that's a 9 out of 10 because of the special effects. And they're pretty solid acting, more or less.